Start things off with the big news uh, coming out of Decision 2015. Rosalind Bliss will be the next mayor of Grand Rapids. Voters elected Bliss as the city's first female mayor. The current second ward city commissioner earned 66% of that vote. And right now, we're joined in the studio by the woman who's making that history, Grand Rapids Mayor-elect Rosalind Bliss. Congratulations uh, and good morning. Yeah, Thank congrats. You. Thank you. What a big night it was and history in the making here. The first female mayor. How are you feeling about that? Uh, you know, in general, I, uh, I, it's this mix of emotion. I'm excited. I'm grateful to everyone who went yesterday and voted. Uh, but it's also incredibly humbling and it's just a, it's a really surreal feeling. Now, I hope you have got a chance to get some rest. I know you've been, a little bit. You've been yeah. doing a whirlwind <laughs> tour. Now, I followed you for several years uh, in yeah. the city commission, and uh, yeah. you worked alongside Mayor Hartwell and the other commissioners. Uh, you're very familiar with the politics of the city. What are some of the first things that you see as priorities that you might want to tackle once you yeah. do uh, take over come January? Well, you know, I, I think we'll have a, a lot of things to tackle. I mean, there are citywide issues that we need to tackle. My priority uh, is going to be looking at what do we need to do to revitalize neighborhoods. I've talked about that for a long time now. Um, but, you know, moving into a leadership position from commissioner to mayor, I want to make sure that that's a really smooth transition. And then also, you know, looking at next year, we're going to have a different commission. We're going to have three new people around the table. And I'm going to be... Uh, I'm going to be working really hard to make sure that we're working together effectively. You talked about um, adding your own new twist to leading the city. Can you yeah. talk more about what that means yeah. and what you bring to yeah. that role? Well, you know, I, people who know me, uh, they know that I, uh, I'm very accessible and responsive and hardworking, and I like to be involved, and I like to, I like to do work. I'm a hands-on kind of person, so um, I'll be actively engaged at the local level, being a part of solutions. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to want to take time getting out into the neighborhoods and meeting with people. You know, I've represented the second ward for a long time. Uh, these last three months, I've been able to knock on a lot of doors, uh, largely in the first and the third ward. Um, but I need to get out and still meet with people and listen to them and better understand the issues that they're facing. So I want to take some time to do that. It seems like you'll have some eager people, too. Just um, out and about last night with the National Night Out, there were several neighborhood groups that hosted yeah. their own National Night Out events because they there did. are tight neighborhoods here in yeah. Grand Rapids. They are. Are you hearing that response when you're out as far as um, specific concerns from neighborhoods and what you can do for them? Yeah, I was actually out at some events, too. Mm -hmm. I hit three before I went to go watch the, the results come in. And you're right. We have amazing neighborhoods, rich with diversity and all unique, and they have unique needs. And, you know, that's what I've always said is that we can't have this cookie cutter approach to helping neighborhoods it really has to be more individualized has it sunk in yet the history that you are making here in Grand Rapids and just what it may mean to uh, others who might want to come after you or yeah. even uh, young girls who are, are watching and may have aspirations to enter a political arena that's often seen as a male dominated type of a venue yeah sinking in I think it probably will take a few more days to sink in uh, yeah. uh, and, and I have always said, uh, you know, to be a model for, for young girls and women, it's, it's a huge responsibility and I take that very seriously. And, you know, I hope I can encourage and mentor other people to get involved. Uh, and that's an exciting part of, of moving into this position. What do you see for the future of Grand Rapids? I know that's a broad question, yeah. but we're seeing a lot of growth in the uh, medical mile. Yeah. Art Prize has done so much. Um, Beer City USA has done so much. Yeah, GR Forward Plan. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's an exciting time. Um, and what I see in the future is I think it'll be bright, brighter than it is today. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Rosalind Bliss, Mayor-elect, yeah. taking over in January, fresh sure. off a win last night with 66% of the yeah, vote. Exactly. So a decided win there. Uh, Congratulations, and thank you for meeting with us this morning. I know you'll you. be on daybreak. We'll be giving you that early call. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> a lot. I'll be here. All right. All right. Thanks for joining us. Thank we appreciate you. it. And we have a more decision.